Hello there, Hoop fans. Welcome to the ABL Highlights Program. We pick up second week ABL action in Maba Stadium, where the hometown KL Dragons square off in their season opener against the Brunei Barracudas. Let's go straight to the highlights as the Barracudas look to improve their record after their season opener loss in Singapore. As we tip off the game, the KL Dragons make a hot start and hit their first couple of baskets. But it's the Barracudas who come storming back behind their front court powerhouses, Lonnie Jones and Michael Pilgrim, taking an early lead and making it difficult for the Dragons on both ends of the court. Defense tells the story here early in the game and blocks quickly turn into fast break conversions. KL begins to look desperate and will try almost anything to keep the ball out of the basket. The Dragons keep firing in hopes of breaking out of their slump that has them down by double digits nearing the end of the first quarter. But the lopsided start continues to get worse for the Dragons as Brunei closes out the first quarter with a whopping 28 points. The KL Dragons begin to settle down at the start of the second quarter and their shooters make a few crucial shots to keep this game from getting too far out of reach. However, Brunei's Francis Adriano is an absolute menace on the court, hitting open shots, coming up with an important steal here and combining it with unselfish passing even on the fast break. The Dragons are determined not to let this slip away and turn it up a notch on offense, hitting the boards and getting some second chance points from their offensive rebounds. But there was simply no answer for Jones and Pilgrim as they shredded Kale's interior defense and even come up with a couple of showtime plays before halftime taking a 24-point lead after the second quarter. Second half highlights and KL starts to show signs of life. But the Brunei Barracudas are absolutely relentless, picking up right where they left off at halftime and continuing to add to their already huge lead. KL is not quite ready to throw in the towel and they trade baskets with Brunei, but the Barracudas seem locked on cruise control, aiming for their first season win. The scoreline at the end of the third quarter tells more of the same story and Brunei takes a game-high 32-point lead, dimming the hopes of an unlikely Dragons comeback. The Dragons make one final effort to keep it close and manage to bring the lead back down to under 20 points. Not for the lack of effort as the Dragons finally outscore the Barracudas in the final quarter. But in the end, a strong fourth quarter performance by Adriano and the Barracudas ensure their first season victory as he finishes with a game-high 23 points. Brunei never look back after taking an early lead and improve their season record to 1-1 one one as they defeat the KL Dragons by 18 points and hand them their first loss on their first game of the season with the final score of 94-76. Let's take a ride back over to Singapore for our second game of the week at Singapore Indoor Stadium 
for a showdown between the Singapore Slingers and the visiting Philippines Patriots. Here are the starting lineups as we get ready to tip things off for the start of the game. Both teams look to remain undefeated, but both also with a challenging task ahead of them. Right from the opening tip-off, the Slingers and the Patriots exchange baskets and the intensity level is high, opening up the floor for some easy baskets. Singapore's unselfish playmaking leads to open shots as the Slingers rack up five assists in the first quarter alone. The Patriots, however, shoot over 55% from the field to keep it close, but Singapore still takes a slight three-point lead into the end of the first quarter. The speed and intensity of the first quarter carries over into the second quarter as both the Slingers and the Patriots push the ball up the floor and burn the defense on several fast breaks. Philippines settles into their half-court game and also show how well they can move the ball, making extra passes to lead to easy points. The Philippines Patriots trail by two possessions at halftime as they hit the halftime break with Singapore leading 34-30. The third quarter takes a downward turn for the visiting Patriots as they shoot 0 for 6 from beyond the three-point line with a disappointing 1 for 15 throughout three quarters. On the other side of the court, Singapore outscores Philippines by 8 points and increases their lead to double digits with team high scorers Kyle Jeffers and Michael LeBlanc leading the way with a combined total of 32 points between them. Hard-nosed defense leads to some physical contact inside the key as Warren Ibanez gets sandwiched between two players and comes out of the game with a slight injury. Fast forward to the fourth and the Philippines Patriots decide to end the Slingers run and make a run of their own using their speed and defense to cut the lead back down to single digits. down to the final minutes and the Patriots with a chance to snatch the game away from the Slingers, but Singapore is able to keep their cool and put in a solid finishing quarter. Though outscored by seven points in the fourth, the Slingers were able to hold off the Philippines Patriots' fourth quarter run and seal the victory, recording their second win of the season with a final score of 74-69, remaining undefeated through the second week of the ABL season. <laughs>